Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to LA Noir for more crime fighting point and click action. Hi, Albert. We are right back Did where we left off. At the hey, Sawyer baby. house now. We. Checking out the second fire you on this first arson case. What which is called this The is Gas cool. Man. You may um, oh. yeah. Now We're about to carry on. Uh, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video so you get a notification to your device every time I upload. As always guys, thank you all for your ongoing support. Remember guys, this episode could contain scenes which some viewers find upsetting or distressing. So, I don't know if you guys saw what he was saying there, but um... Yeah, these four people died in their sleep in the fire, so this could be unpleasant. Val. You're gonna stick oh, jeez. I'm gonna try, Mal. What have you got? Family by the name of Sawyer. Mother, oh, father, God. Two kids. There's a All kid. Dead from the looks of it. Oh, I'd say carbon monoxide poisoning. The burns are superficial. Time of death. I'd say about midnight. Anything more exact will take some time to determine. Lynch tells me this has something to do with the faulty water heater? Could be. Possibly. There's it's also right problem. nearby the site where the houses are being built. So there could be foul play involved in this. And if there is, then there's some kind of sicko who's done this. Burning families because they wouldn't leave their houses. That If that's what's going on here, that is disgusting. I feel sorry for your wife and kids, Phelps, not for you. Wow. But you're a good case, man. One of the best I've ever met. I'll help in any way I can. Thanks, Matt. I'd say that's firm but fair. I would agree. This, um... This isn't going to be nice, guys. I'm sorry. How about the insurance companies write these incidents up as acts of God? Disgusting. Anyway, let's take a look around. Let's um, check around here. So, it's potentially the water heater, isn't it? What's this? A hey, regulator babe. valve. Is this significant? Regulator valve. Good find. Detectives, this is the next door neighbor. Detective Phelps, can you help? They were supposed to be going away. They won a trip somewhere. But little Henry got sick, so they had to cancel. What are the oh, chances? they won a trip as well. Gulliver's Travel. Up on Santa Interesting. Because Gulliver's Travels made it so the other family won a trip and were out of their house. So they should have been out of the house. Shouldn't they? But obviously they weren't because the kid was ill. So they died in the fire. So it does sound like it's linked. Anyway, we're chasing this guy down. Oh, how did he manage to get through there? Alright, come on, you can tackle him, Phelps. Run faster. Come on, Phelps. You can do it. Oh, he's just getting away. A family died in that fire. We need to ask some questions. Yeah, come on. Oh! You lousy piece of shit. Okay, here we go. I can't remember how to fight. How do we block again? Square. Okay. Boom. Boom. Answer our questions. Throw him into the fence. Down he goes. You sicko. What name? do you know? Herbert Chapman. So you like fires. Some watching them were setting them. I don't want any trouble. Oh, he's one of those. He's Turn an arsonist. You're Interesting. Nothing, aren't you, Herbert? I keep myself like set in fires. Doesn't necessarily mean he's the person who did this, though. Cigarette in a matchbox gives you a five or six minute delay. You want more time, you use a mosquito coil. Don't you, Herbert? You light this fire, Herbert. Hell no. I heard it over the fire radio. It sounded sweet. 
When you're finished following your leads, come and see me at the fire station. What is wrong with some people? I mean, look, he's clearly mentally ill or something, isn't he? No but Take this guy in. It's terrible that people would do that. Even a mentally ill person, that somebody would want to burn people. Burn their house down. Have them get burned like that and die. It's just dreadful. I mean, no one is starting to, you know, understand mental illness more than me recently with things that I've been going through. Um, which, you know, I'm quite open about with you guys, but... It's always been insurance. We still you know, investigate the cases, Biggs. The people in this people house doing that dead. to other people is horrible. Is Even if they are suffering from session. mental illness. I'm gonna make this case. I'm gonna rub the department's nose in it. Help me or stay out of my way. You got it? Sorry, I'm talking all over this as well. Phelps is basically saying that he wants to solve this case to rub it in the department's face. Just to get him back, I guess, for moving him down to arson. Um, let's go and check out Gulliver's Travel Agency next. Because they're the ones who run the competition that both houses won. And then funnily enough both of those houses have burnt down. Too much of a coincidence for me. So let's head down here. Go to the travel agency. See what the hell is going on. How is all this linked? Although I don't know how long this game is. I don't know what we go to next after arson. I'm trying to think what other types of crimes there are really. We've done murders. We've done traffic. We've done vice. And now we're on arson. Um, I honestly don't know. Maybe like fraud or something? Well, that seems more like a desk job, doesn't it? So I don't know, it'd be interesting to see what happens next. I don't know. Anyway. We're almost at the travel agency, I think. Or I hope so, anyway. Yeah, we are. Here we go. Uh, I thought we'd gone past it then. Right, Gulliver's Travel Agency, 9.59am. That's a pretty cool sign, isn't it? Oh look, and there's like pictures of cut out pictures of people in there, like they're in the plane. That's quite cool. I like that. I like quirky things like that. They're quite nice. Anyway, LAPD. John Cunningham, can I help you, gentlemen? We have reason to believe that the Sawyer family of 4414 Rosewood Avenue recently won a competition run by your company. Yes, I remember them. They called up to cancel at the last minute. One of the kids was sick. Very unfortunate. Do you mind if I take a look at that? Yeah, let me have a look at that. Okay, so there's Stephens there. Here they are. Stephens. On hold, issued, collected. And there's Sawyer. The Sawyer family. Rosewood Avenue. Oh, okay. Apparently we're not looking at the others. Okay, Suburban Redevelopment. Tell us about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. There's not much to tell. They run a promotion. Our promotions mailing list covers half of LA. That is a tie and a half, isn't it? Look at that tie. It's beautiful. Um, I think he's telling the truth, by the way. So they are not a government agency? <laughs> I don't believe so. Government organizations don't hmm. usually well, that's not what we were told when we rung the operator. Okay, the promotional travel contest. I'm told the tickets were a prize. Yes, they were. You do a lot of these prizes. Look, there are hundreds of these promotions running at any one time. If you're the lucky guy, you get your name pulled out of a hat. Something funny is going on. Look at that lion face. <laughs> um... We don't really have anything though, so it's gonna to have to be bad cop. Well, the a massive lack of evidence at this stage, actually. Island, their house burnt down. You consider them lucky? Christ, I'm sorry to hear that. Can you tell me who offered the prize won by the Sawyer family? Sure. Who was it? There's supposed to be some sort of supervised draw, with hundreds of tickets. 
but the reality is the suburban redevelopment fund calls me <laughs> what a surprise so it's fixed so they can turf people out of the houses so they can build on the land wish i could do something for that family i knew it put round the hat a few bucks would really help them now it's time to go check out this place i think i'll put you down for 50 i could tell you were samaritan the minute i walked in the door 50 are you good man Cunningham. <laughs> you're all right yeah i'm great Poorer, but great. <laughs> Good one, Biggs. Alright, let us get over to suburban redevelopment then. I think that's the only place we can go to anyway. There it is. Okay. Let me guess. You want to check out the suburban address? Yes. Why don't you? Great partners must think alike. I feel like I can drive more aggressively if I have the sirens on, so that's going to be my new w way of dealing with things now. After the um, tragic running over of somebody in an episode not long ago. Was it last episode? I can't actually remember. But after that sad, sad event, I've decided that I'm just going to use the sirens from now on. I mean, the guy practically ran in front of the car, but... We're not going to take any more risks with um, the safety of the citizens of LA. We're going to be a lot more careful with our driving now. Well, we're not. We're going to drive like maniacs, but we're going to do it with sirens on, so it's okay. And um, if you disagree, then quite simply, you're wrong. <laughs> That's my opinion. <laughs> you might not agree with it. Uh, why the hell is suburban redevelopment anyway? What am I talking about? I'm talking about absolute rubbish again. Never ever say you're bored watching Turian's videos. Because you... Where else do you get a guy talking absolute crap for 20 minutes? 25 minutes if you're lucky. While badly playing video games. I mean, you don't get that kind of quality service anywhere else. That's... That is the truth. <laughs> There's probably a reason why as well. <laughs> Not in high demand, probably. Right, here we go. Oh, I see... Elysian Fields Development Site, 11.31am. So it's on the building site. Where they're knocking things down and rebuilding it. That's interesting, isn't it? The suburban redevelopment fund. This is an Elysian Housing Development, Mac. So Elysian is an investor in the redevelopment fund. Looks that way. That's Are very interesting. Here, I've got work to do. Sure, buddy. Thanks for your help. Yeah, whatever. I'm a policeman. Shut up. Elysian right. Um, in suburban redevelopment. So what? Do we go in here? If you think I'm putting my pension on the line, Okay. Well, I'm just going to have a look. What's this? So Elysian Fields builds the houses. Delivered to Elysian Fields, blah, 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 to Frank Osterman from Leland Monroe. Daily reports and requisitions must be addressed suburban redevelopment and submitted in triplicate. Failure to submit dailies is grounds for dismissal. Incorrectly filed supply requests will be ignored. I don't really get that. Can we? Sorry, gotta go. While I'm here, my workers are probably putting their feet up and talking shit. No. Oh. Um. Is that literally it? This is something over here. Oh, look at that calendar, boys and girls. Very nice. Very nice. I'm joking. <laughs> right, okay. I, I, do, I, do you know what? I don't know what's wrong with me today. <laughs> I apologise. Oh. It's lucky it wasn't a, a naked one, you know. Because I would have had to cut that out. 32. Right, Lynch says we go there. Right, let's go there anyway. Lynch is a legend. You should feel privileged. He doesn't let many people into the inner sanctum. Keep your mouth shut and you'll learn something about fires. Okay. So we're going to Fire Station 32. So look, this is where they're rebuilding all the stuff they knocked down. The new village. Wasn't it for like... Partly um, ex-soldiers and things like that. Wasn't look at that bit of pro driving and um, people like that, wasn't it? But they're knocking down old houses to make it. So I think they essentially turfing people out their houses by awarding them these competition wins, getting them out of town for a couple of days, burning the house down. The people get the insurance money if they're lucky enough to be insured. If not, they end up empty-handed. And then, of course, 
guess what? There's no one living on that land, so they can just flatten it and build the houses on it. Sounds like a scam to me. Sick scam as well. Alright, here we are. Fire station number 32, 11.43am. We came as soon as we could. Uh, is this Lynch. the guy? Lynch? Big. Yeah. You two investigating the house fire on Kenmore Avenue as well? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why? I had a look around the place while I was out there. Do you believe oh, yeah. the fire? I deal in facts, Phelps. Evidence of an explosion. I see. No obvious sign of accelerants. Wiring looks intact. Come Good. take a look at this. What is this? this Some sort of science experiment. Oh. Yes, it is. Huh. Looks like it was recently serviced. Although. I have a theory. Reginald Varley. A theory only. I don't have enough evidence to prove. Well, if you say it's so, we're listening. Okay, Phelps. You're a bright penny. You have a gas supply. Right. You have a Bunsen burner as a pilot light. Uh huh. You have a regulator valve, and the balloon represents the gas expanding in the room. Now, just the like gas being back at school. Has to make contact Chemistry with the lessons. Coil to form an explosion. I suppose it could be physics as well. Let's see if you can work out the chain of events. Okay, let's see if we can work this out. Um, so we've got to connect these things up to here, I'm guessing. Uh, like that. And then like this. No, I guess it's the other way around then. Okay, let's put that down there. We'll take that out there. Put that there. And then this... No, no. No, put that back. Put that back, Phelps. And then this one on the end. The gas bubble needs to be next to the coil if it's going to ignite. And it, and what? Unless I have to switch it on, I guess. There we go. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, I get it now. So the the gas bubble needs to go on, the other side. The right we yeah, I know. I, di I didn't get what I was doing. Sorry. All right, I'm doing it now. All right, let's put that there. And then the Good. Your regulator's in position. Yeah, I know because I know what I'm doing now. <laughs> Stop being so condescending, jeez. Okay. I'll light your pilot. And turn the gas. You pull the lever on the. I actually got really good grades in science in school, guys, so... Whoa! So that's how it's being done. Maybe. There could be a fault with these valves. I haven't just ah. the prior experiment, but you need to take it to InstaHeat and see what they... So I see, so... Maybe Reginald Varley is going into these properties that they want rid of. You're welcome, Biggs. Inverted commas. See you at the next show. Doing the routine maintenance on the boilers and putting a faulty valve in so that eventually, when the right conditions are met, the boiler goes boom. And that leaves people without a house. Clever, but a hell of a scam, isn't it? The next fire. We should go to the factory and see how many of these things are going bang in the night. Yeah, I agree. You know this chap right, let's go to the... Um, Guy's a freak. Instant heat factor. He's the kind of guy that we like for a lot of things, but we don't really have any credible evidence to pursue him with. I see. Well, let's see if we can change that by going to Insta Heat, shall we? We'll get over to that factory. See if there's anything we can figure out by going over there. And then take it from then. What is this on our right, by the way, behind this wall, like a prison or something? Why did that guy just swerve into me? Ryan had the sirens on as well. Some people just can't drive. Me on the other hand, I can. I'm a driving expert. He says, well, hopefully not swerving into 
cars coming the other way. Oh, what's the oh no, that's the source of the fire. I was going to say there's been another fire, but that's one that we went to earlier. Okay, where is the Insta Heat factory? Someone's making dodgy valves, and I don't like it. Is anyone checking these valves to see if they're fit for purpose? I don't think so. Right, here we go. This is it here, isn't it? Insta heat. There we go. Insta heat factory. Two forty-four p.m. What do we do here? Well, I guess we're going in because Biggs has decided for us. Hello. LAPD detectives. Oh, there's something to look at on the desk there. I see. Well, duty manager for today is Mr. Rasick. You should find him in his office. Okay. What was on the desk, by the way? It went ding ding, as if I could. Okay, maybe not. That broad has is socks it... in it, Brazier. No. Uh, okay, I think. No. Where, where are we going, Biggs? So you're the first in this family born without a tail. Excuse me. Biggs, move. Can we go? Where the hell are we going here? What now? What's... Oh, I see. Insta heat, new, new and improved. Model. They'll be selling these like hotcakes. Yeah. Anyway, where the hell are we going? This place is like a maze. Are we going this in there? Guy must have escaped from the loony bin. Shut up. Right here Detective we go. Phelps and Biggs, arson. We're investigating a couple of house fires. What can you tell us about this? Pressure regulator from a Model 70. Here. Let me take a oh, look. He knows his stuff. We have a problem. This has been tampered what? with. What? Mmm. Tampered with, just you like I thought. Diaphragm? It forms a seal across the saddle here. Gas flows across from here to here. The diaphragm regulates flow. Ah. Just been purposely sabotaged. It's been it's reversed. Thing, but it means the gas never closes off properly. Ah, that's interesting. Okay, Insta Heat Model 70. So you're telling me that this is not a manufacturing fault or service repair? I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the design. You just said that it had been tampered with. Okay, it's going to be bad cop, I think. You're telling me that you've never had any problems with this heater? Look, we've changed the design since the Model 70. These things are still being installed? Here's uh -oh. the demand. None of us could keep up with the amount of housing going up. At the budget end, we're still using some of the old stock. We are installing 100 heaters <sighs> a week. They're not all faulty. They're 100 all a week? Heaters. These could be on the houses all over LA. Jeez. Right, heater service history. These diaphragms prone to failure. They uh, tend to go after a while. The rubber lasts quite a few years and then it perishes. So the guy's names that I've been seeing doing the repairs on the heaters. Oh, I see. And then they need to be repaired by one of the guys. Right, he's lying. Um, I think it's going to be that, isn't it? Let's just double check. Right, Varley, Ryan. Right, let's. We've got to choose one of them. Lying, I think some of your men aren't fully licensed. You're desperate to cover your sales. And how are you going to prove that, Detective? Name me one of my guys who would have overlooked a fault like this. Okay, Ryan. What about Matthew Ryan? Uh, you know about Ryan. Huh? All right, he's been in some trouble. I know that. Ah. His time. You in the habit of hiring criminals, Rasick? I need guys, detective. This boom is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Hmm. So you, you care about her profits? Of your installers. Okay, I'll get it for you. All right, rank increased to nineteen. Fair. Nice. Around a dozen of them. All right, let's see if we can see anyone. This is a long Matthew shot. Ryan, Reginald Varley. That whole list. No, we're not. 
I want to run it by R and I. Cross reference for arsonists. Good See idea. If these guys have any previous, sir. I need to use your phone. Go right ahead. So we see if any of them have got any sort of link to arson in the past. And hopefully that'll be our guy. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge twelve forty seven. I need to know if any of the following names have a previous criminal history. Okay, detective. Run the names. Acevedo Ernesto, Clemens Walter, Elgram John, Gable Leroy, Kellegrew Peter, Cutner Robert, Limehouse Albert, Manning Franklin, Eve <laughs> Raymond, reading them Ryan off. Thomas, Ryan Matthew, Spurgeon William, Barley Reginald, Zurich Stephen. It's going to be Varley, isn't it? and malicious damage. Burned down a house in Westwood hmm. in 1942. Four-year jail term. Thanks. Clemens, eh? Ryan, Matthew. Charged for contempt <gasps> of court. Attempted murder. Plea bargain down to assault charge. Oh. Anyone else? No arson charge. There is a Reginald Varley wanted for murder by Detroit Police Department. Murder? Thanks. You've been a big help. So it could lady. be Varley or Ryan or Clemens. Your Interesting. Is quite the rogues gallery, Mr. Rasick. Let's speak Do to him. Do you have an address for Clemens? He's uh, working on an apartment building on uh, Catalina and Third. What about Ryan? Currently working at a housing development on Normandy and First Street. Varley, where is he? Beverly and Mariposa currently working on a new housing development. Hey, Varley's a good guy. You can't harass all my people. These guys have lockers. Yes, they do. But my men have a right to some privacy. Don't you need a warrant mm. or something? Show them and keep quiet. <laughs> right, let's check out these guys' lockers. They're right here. I don't think you didn't really need to show me, man. Stick around. Could have just said it was out here. Right, Clemens. What's he got? An anarchist Clemens is a fellow traveler. thing. Pamphlet thing. Okay. Wait, what? Is there something else in there? No. Oh, something on inside. Okay. Matthew Ryan. Whoa. So he's got all of them. Some light reading on the merciless capitalist machine. So he's the one giving them out to people then. Ryan wants the world to be a better place, don't we all? Interesting. He's also got these. Doesn't tell me anything. No, okay doesn't really mean anything okay and then last but not least the final locker Reginald Varley <gasps> look at that mosquito killer the coil thousands of these in the war still got eaten alive yeah except that's what he used Varley on his little problem with bugs thing wasn't it on his demonstration so it could be Varley very interesting. You know that a mosquito coil takes an hour to burn down, racing? No, I didn't know that. It's the favorite choice of ignition by arsonists. Yeah. It's time to get away. You're crazy. He probably lives near the canals in Venice. Possibly. Mind if I leave you to it, I got work waiting. Go ahead. Okay, guys, we're um, we're going to leave it there because this has gone on for Three way bars. too long. Um, in the next one, we will potentially question these guys i don't know we'll go to their places of work and figure it out uh, but that is going to do it for this episode so as always guys thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video click on that like button it really does help the channel to grow so i do appreciate it make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so and i'll see you all next time